Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. High Pops Directive Blowing Trumpet of War Coalition of Northern Groups High Pops Directive Blowing Trumpet of War Coalition of Northern Groups To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The coalition of northern groups has declared that the only thing that could solve the agitations of the indigenous people of Biafra was to conduct a referendum. Spokesperson for the group, Abdulaziz Suleiman, said this while explaining that the group was not surprised that IPOP banned the singing of national anthem in Igbo land and transportations of cows to the southeast. He maintained that they foresaw the scenario long ago and in 2017 took bold and necessary steps to address Nigerians on the unfolding development. He said, the warning, wo- the warning we issued in 2017 was deliberately distorted instead of treating it as a warning from history which repeats itself. Today, everyone can see that the agitations and disturbances that have been ongoing ceaselessly since around 2015 has systematically been manipulated towards rendering the country practically ungovernable and ushering in anarchy and instability that could portend the breakup of the country. We at the CNG are convinced beyond beyond doubt that the resurgence of separatist of separatist agitations, especially by IPOB and its like in the southeast, represents a much wider conspiracy to divide Nigeria and the current regime of boycott announced by IPOB's IPOB aims to bring the not down on its knees by economic incapacitation and political bacchanization. The specific targeting of the North by the ban that inadvertently exposes Northerners to imminent attacks and irreverent treatment is aimed at causing inter-regional crises, possibly leading to a civil war or general unrest. The economy and commercial health of both sides would suffer the consequences of the boycott. The coalition of northern groups has declared that the only thing that could solve the agitations of the indigenous peoples of Biafra was to conduct a referendum. Spokesperson for the group, Abdul Aziz Suleiman, said this while explaining that the group was not surprised that IPOP banned the singing of the national anthem in Igbo land and transportation of cows to the southeast. He maintained that they foresaw the scenario long ago in 2017, took bold and necessary steps to address Nigeria on the unfolding development. He said, 
the warning we issued in 2017 was deliberately distort was deliberately distorted instead of treating it as a warning from history which repeats itself today everyone can see that the agitations and disturbances that have been ongoing ceaselessly since around 2015 are systematically been manipulated towards rendering the country practically ungovernable and ushering in anarchy and instability that could portend the breakup of the country. We at the CNG are convinced beyond doubt that the resurgence of separatist agitations, especially by IPOB and its like in the Southeast, represents a much wider conspiracy to divide Nigeria and the current regime of boycott announced by IPOB aims to bring the court down on its knees by economic incapacitation and political bacchanalization. The specific targeting of the North by the band that inadvertently exposes Northerners to imminent attacks and ir irreverent entreatment is aimed at causing interregional crises, possibly leading to a civil war of general unrest. The economy and commercial health of both sides would suffer the consequences of the boycott. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.